Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. That's right, this video shout out goes to TJZ Spirit. Thank you for your continued support. And um, yeah, it is that time where we are dropping weekly pre-recorded video for you all with video shout outs. So if you don't have your YouTube channel or ID public, then I won't be able to see your handle for a shout out. So if you all want to be, yes, if you want to be added to our shout out list for our pre-recorded videos that we do for this channel, just reach out and let me know, okay? Yeah, I want to make sure I get all y'all, okay? We are inclusive at Consulting for Hate Awareness. That's right. And so, listen, everybody, um, narcissist, okay, never forget that they like to be babysat. Yeah, they do. They try to act like they don't, but they love to be babysat. They love to be coddled by society. And what happens when they get out there and society's not coddling them, well, then they throw a temper tantrum. Absolutely. <laughs> And so I want to go ahead and share with you all that um, on December 26, 2023, God revealed to me, that's right, today, all right, and then for those in the future who will catch this, um, the live stream that we did, the Truth Seeker podcast, those two snakes, y'all, that were trying to infiltrate on the live chat there, those two snakes, those were the two Jezebel. One of them was the Jezebel case study, and the other one was her flying monkey. And that one I started to pick up on early on, too, because after a year and a half of, of being with this ministry, they were still living in fear. So that was a red flag for me right there. Okay, but the Jezebel case study that got, yeah, that was those two. Okay, they were posing. All right, they were posing as someone else. Okay, I was like, oh, that makes sense because they would know that. 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time with Truth Seeker Podcast that we're going to be up here live. Um, and if you don't think that they don't check in every once in a while, of course they do. And they were throwing temper tantrum. She was mad. That's right. That's what they do when they're not getting attention or getting any coddling or special treatment from anyone out there. Okay? When they're not getting what they want, they throw a temper tantrum. And so just know I'm aware of that. I knew... Shortly after we ended the live, I knew who it was. God revealed it to me as I started to put away some other thing, working out that salvation. I was like, hold on a second. Because, yeah, it just was like, hmm. Because a, a narcissist that, right, that would care less would not have stuck around and kept trying, right? So that was just that Jezebel case study trying to poke and prod again. <laughs> getting herself all, yeah, getting herself all riled up. And, 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 and listen, they do it to themselves, okay? These narcissists out here, y'all, they do it to themselves. All right, everything they do, it boomerangs back around to them. All right, they think that they deserve or are entitled to special treatment out there in the matrix. That's what they believe, that's what they... Mm-hmm. They've been conditioned to believe that. So, we learn. Mm, leave them there. Leave them there. They're going to think what they want to think. While they continue to act like spoiled brats out there. Never forget that that is... Yeah, that's what it is. And so, yeah, God revealed that... Uh, okay, so we have a couple of... Uh, so, that just lets us know that the Jezebel... Uh, just cannot get over the fact that what she tried to do didn't work. So, oh well. And apparently it's having a very bad day. <laughs> Knowing full well that uh, I don't celebrate... I don't celebrate pagan tradition anymore. So, they didn't have that to mess with. <laughs> so... The only thing that they could figure is that the day after the so-called holiday, they try to infiltrate our live stream podcast. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, listen. That was just a temper tantrum they throw in. And so that's why we learned to just go, you know what? 
We're done. We walk away. Because they're going to continue to act like that. That does not deserve our attention, right? Mm. So we learn not to give them the attention they're looking for. We've got to really remember that. Right? We do not want to give them the attention. I know that I even played a little role in there because I, I was asking them, why are you still watching? <laughs> you know, I'm like, why? If, if they don't like the sound of my voice, if they don't, yeah, if they want to falsely accuse me of not reading the Bible, which y'all Y'all know better. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, they want to throw in false accusations, which you know what that tells us, though, right? Uh-huh. That lets us know that they're, they're not reading the Bible. Obviously, they're not. They're evildoers. And so, they're backing each other up. Remember? Because that other one that piped up, calling God an evildoer, that was the Jezebel case study flying monkey Jezebel who she sent across my path to kind of gauge if there were any openings for her to weasel her way in and try to isolate, yep, and abuse, try to take this ministry down. Uh-huh. Ooh. This ministry soaring. <laughs> right, y'all? Because God said his chosen one's going to soar like the eagle because that's what we are, all right, in the spiritual battle for the mind. Never forget that. It's very important that they're always going to expect special treatment. We don't give it to them. And so when they don't get it, they're going to throw a temper tantrum. So it's very important to remember that. And, you know, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions you have. And so we want to work together going forward, everyone. Seriously, work together going forward. Uh-huh, so that, yeah... So that we stay strong together because we are stronger together. So we stay strong together and not let them trick us into engaging in gossip. And not trick us into giving them the attention that they're looking for. I know we feel protective of each other and I appreciate that. Okay, you all? I appreciate it. You, you, yes, okay, wholeheartedly. But we really have to... Let's work together on this, okay? Let's work together and make sure that we don't, when those snakes show up like that inside our live stream in the chat or even on the comments, okay? Let's not give them the attention they're looking for. I will block them no matter what, okay? And they want to sit there and say that a moderator won't really help. Oh, ah ha ha. No, that... Mm, we know the opposite to be true, right? There you go. So, mm, as always, don't hesitate to reach out again with any questions that you have. But never forget that they want to be babysat. They want to be coddled by society. They like that special treatment. That's what they come to expect. Leave them there. And keep on keeping on, chosen one. All right, going forward. All right, yeah, going forward. That's the only way we can go. All right, everyone, so there you go. Uh, just a quick reminder, and now uh, that weekly drops for pre-recorded videos as we live stream frequently throughout the week, okay, with our Let's Just Chat show, Motivational Monday show, that's right, and then Saturday Bible study, and the Truth Seeker podcast on Tuesdays around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So, you know, we're just going to keep praying, everyone. All right, let's just keep praying. And that's right, working it out with the Heavenly Father. Work out that salvation. That's right. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.